hey guys and welcome back to another episode of beck so we have back here enjoying a pretty nice morning uh jog so she's just getting back to the grind it's the first day of fall this is going to be the last episode of my beck series but in today's episode we are pretty much um going on another date with Mr. Paxton and this time he invited us to his house where he's going to cook us a nice meal and I figured it's probably a really good opportunity to for Beck to finally try that bottle of wine that she bought back in Tartosa and if you can see from that notification that just popped up Beck has been making some pretty good money from her beauty review videos so I did let her record another video and get that edited and posted there so she's making close to about 300 simoleons per video at the moment we also did get a little bit more um leeway in her celebrity level so she's been doing pretty well i'm actually gonna go ahead and get her uh to shower up so Paxton doesn't get off of work until 5 p.m. So I figure we'll probably go ahead and head over there maybe around like 6 o'clock or so. And we don't really know what he's making for us. But here's the bottle of wine that we bought from Tortosa. It was that berry nectar, finely aged, the shower just broke. <laughs> That's great. Guess we still got a few things to do. Go ahead and repair this. But Beck's actually looking pretty forward to it. I believe this will be their third date. I know they just went out recently and spent some time at the Spice Festival. But uh, since the weekend was coming up, Paxton decided, you know, since I'm off work and you're off work, how about we, you know, get together again for another date and this time I'll make you a really nice meal. And our first date was a restaurant. Second date was you know, some street food, and now I just feel like making you a good uh, home-style meal. So, Beck actually, she is excited about it, and she kind of has it in her mind, like, maybe this is the day <laughs> that her impacts can finally become something more. Um, I know they've just been kind of doing, like, the cute flirting here and there, and, like, a couple of hugs or whatever, but I don't know. I think I think Beck has a has a uh, a little plan <laughs> brewing in her mind there. Like maybe it's time to actually make a move. You know. Now she's not sure if she wants to be the one to ask to start dating, or maybe wait around to see if he'll be the one to ask. But she doesn't want to leave disappointed, or she doesn't want to really get her hopes up go over there and then they end up going on like I don't know like 10 more dates before that even happens so Beck might actually make a move tonight so we will see what happens there it's already 12 o'clock I really <laughs> sometimes I really hate how fast the time goes in sims but it's fine we haven't eaten anything as of yet let me see if we have anything going on in the fridge we still have some crepes that we made the other day so we'll go ahead and just eat some of those we might also make um some coffee i know it's 12 o'clock but coffee's coffee <laughs> coffee's good anytime um i think we'll just make uh, americano but that's what's on the agenda today so it may be a relatively short episode i'm not exactly sure i didn't really have anything else on the agenda for beck since she did reach the um top level in her streamer career and she's getting pretty good performance and um pretty good payouts from gigs you know she's getting her star level up there she finally got her uh gear upgraded so she's making videos now so she's doing pretty well for herself now the only thing 
left that I feel like I wanted to do for her is in terms of her relationship. So that is something we have been working on for the past couple episodes. So now I feel like it's just time for Beck to to make a move. Girl, are you actually making that? Because <laughs> resume. <laughs> just sitting there. Um, <laughs> but I feel like that's what's on Beck's agenda next or that's what's next for Beck so that's how I want to end the episode something that she's been working towards something that you know Paxton has also wanted for um, them as well just to rekindle that friendship rekindle a relationship between them and you know make the next move I know a couple episodes ago I mentioned that I feel like Trevor took our switch and I kind of don't want to end the episode without finding out if that is true so we might actually go ahead and invite him over and then um go ahead and take control of him and see if it's in his inventory because <laughs> we really want that back and I don't really want to buy another one for her oh my god why is he so sad we haven't seen Trevor in a very long time so let's just see. Let's just ask him about his day real quick. We'll always talk to him. And I y'all all out here like this. <laughs> Why is he so sad? I guess we're about to find out once we take control over him. That's fine. <laughs> oh, he's. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> he's flirty. <laughs> all right. All right, what is going on here? Oh, okay, crush nearby. There it is. Why do you have two? Why do you have two? Trevor, first off, this is ours, okay? <laughs> We're going to take that back from you. I don't... I, maybe he already had one of his own. I don't really know. But what's been going on with Trevor? <laughs> I mean, not really... Uh, uh uh. Uh uh. <laughs> Not him flirting with us. No, no, no. And you're not even about to sit here and go make a drink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Trevor. <laughs> we, we just wanted our switch back. <laughs> I guess Beck should definitely decide what she's going to wear as well on the date. What's stinky? I feel like something is trapped somewhere in this kitchen. And for the longest time, I couldn't figure out where it was. And I still don't really know. So she's just forever going to be like telling me that there's something stinky in here and I don't know where it is. So let's actually go and put this in our inventory before I forget it. And then we need to decide what we're actually going to wear because I do have a formal outfit that I created for Beck um but I think I also changed maybe like a party outfit for her so we're gonna check out those outfits so let's see so for her formal wear I did make this really cute red dress here I'm gonna step over here for a second <laughs> So I made this really cute outfit here. She has her uh, a Bella Golf moment going on <laughs> with the red dress, which I think is like, it's really, really cute, but it's, I feel like it's mostly for like a dinner outing. Not really like I'm going over for a cute little date of somebody making me a, a home style meal. So I think I also made her another party outfit which I feel like I might actually have her wear instead it's kind of casual but it's still kind of dressy still looking cute and she seems like she's a little bit more comfortable in it so I think this is probably what we're going to wear when we go over to Paxton's place so we should be uh actually <laughs> getting ready pretty quick um so I'm gonna have her use the bathroom and then brush her teeth <laughs> because we did have those crepes and everything but I think we look pretty darn 
cute so we should have the option to like freshen up a little bit here and then i am going to let her put some perfume on that we have here in our inventory so she can feel fresh and flirty i think it's going to be a pretty good time plus you guys will actually get to see paxton's house so I believe I mentioned before that where Paxton lives is uh, his parents' old house. So they did leave their house for their son and uh, went off and moved somewhere else. So, <laughs> but Paxton definitely did kind of decorate to his own, you know, style and everything. He is in the uh, music career. So, like, he's in the entertainer career. So he is working his way to being a uh, pianist so he does play the piano um so that's a little bit of backstory for him and then you'll understand that once you actually see what his house looks like because it, it has like you know some decorations that cater to that music genre so we are feeling very flirty looking cute smelling good and it's almost six o'clock I am going to help her energy just a little bit and her fun. We're going to keep our hunger where it is because, you know, we are going to be getting a a meal cooked for us. I don't think we had anything going on here. And I don't think there's anything else we have to take with us. We have our bottle of wine. Hopefully she doesn't, like, take out her switch while we're there. Busy playing with it and everything. But we are going to send the girls some text messages to let them know, like, tonight's the night. <laughs> tonight's the night we're going to make a move on Paxton and just see where his head at with, is at with everything. Or maybe he'll be the one to ask us. I'm not really sure. But we're definitely going to see. So it is a little bit after 6, so let's go ahead and head over. And here we are at Paxson's place. So he just lives in this really cute, simple house here. Um, so we are going to go ahead and uh, knock on the door. <laughs> we are here. I see he got the TV on, watching a, a movie, it looks like. A scary movie. All right, and here's Paxton. Paxton, it is dark in here. <laughs> But let me give you just a little mini tour of Paxton's uh, house here. So this is his living room area. So he does have a guitar here. He has a guitar shaped table here. And his color scheme is very like, <laughs> I just feel like it kind of fits him a little bit. He has this football trophy from when he was in uh, high school. He has a little laptop here in his dining area. And then his like little bland kitchen <laughs> so this is just a really small um house that his parents did own very bland bathroom so he didn't really like fully decorate everything except just like most of the places that he'll be um you know living in and spending most of his time in so here's his little piano here put the walls up uh and we actually go ahead and take control of him so we can get some lights on here so this is his bedroom so he has his little football flag there and his desk over here and then yes yeah, so there's his piano which I think is a really cute setup here and then we got his bed and his photo frame to stay weird <laughs> but that is uh Paxton's place so it's it gets that feel of like a man definitely lives here, but <laughs> you know, he's got a little bit of something going on for himself, but he definitely did just put more focus on the spaces where he's going to spend most of his time. All right, I took a minute to change Paxton's outfit. Also, taking control of him is telling me he has no skills, but I definitely know Paxton has skills. <laughs> so I don't know what that is about, but he is going to uh, be making something for Beck. So it looks like he's going to chat with her a little bit. He turned the TV off. We're going to turn on some... What should we turn on? Should we, should we be like super cheesy and turn on some 
<laughs> romance music. <laughs> oh god, now you embarrassing yourself already. Yeah, let's turn some romance music. Beck loves it. <laughs> but let's um actually compliment her parents because she does look super cute and we are going to go ahead and give her a really nice hug gosh how are you embarrassed already paxton here we go now it is seven o'clock so beck is just like i did bring a bottle of wine or not ne nectar we'll say nectar <laughs> So he's like, oh, that's great. Oh, my gosh, guys. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. We should be able to pour. Can we pour? Hello? Do we have need back to do it? Yeah, okay. So we'll have her pour two servings. Oh, rebound kiss. Hello? <laughs> back. <laughs> Okay, so Beck's gonna go ahead and just pour this wine. Hopefully, girl, you're like freezing a little bit here. I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're stuck. <laughs> okay, it's like, it's bugging out when it comes to the bottle of nectar, which is unfortunate. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we can't even have anything. But, what? What? Y'all, not yet. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get Paxton to figure out what he's actually going to make for dinner. And let's see. I definitely want him to maybe make like some sort of meat dish, I feel like. Maybe we'll make some oxtail with rice peas and plantains. What are you doing? Playing a game. Sorry. All right. Back. Let me see if, all right, let me just reset you. And can you try to pour two servings? In? <laughs> Not a drop in the bottle like that. I can't. <laughs> it's because it wasn't really a made bottle. You know what? I know exactly what to do here. Just like, give me a second. Cause it's probably not going to be the berry nectar. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so I went ahead and just got a little bottle of here, <laughs> bottle of wine here from Bill Pai because unfortunately the nectar isn't working and I'm so upset about that because this makes like six glasses and I'm just, I uh, have so much, but <laughs> that's okay. So Beck's definitely going to start drinking, <laughs> but y'all saw how quickly like, she just started to make her moves. I told you, like, Beck definitely, definitely had, you know, a plan going on in her head about how she wanted this to go. She is downing that. So how about we go and um, sit here. You done your one? Okay. We'll probably, like, bring some glasses over here. All right. Now we can, like, sit and talk. <laughs> I should have probably got, like, a cute little candle or something. It's so dark over here. Okay, so I put a candle down, and then I also put some flowers down for bag. <laughs> so, we'll probably, um, I wonder if we can gift that. So, we can probably see if we can put that in Paxson's inventory, and then maybe gift it to Beck. But this is still really cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that they like well Beck mostly has been really making some moves oh he wants to kiss someone really making some moves on Paxton here and then I could not get them to sit down to eat <laughs> kiss each other kept trying to get up to kiss each other <laughs> is he just bad at making jokes Beck is that what it is oh my gosh let's um Let's see. Let's confess attraction. It is already 11 o'clock, y'all. 
<laughs> Maybe if you stop being mischievous. <laughs> All right, and maybe we'll also do the same. Confess our attraction. You must turn. Glass or a bay. Uh huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. Can we play a song for her? Oh, not you getting up already. Oh, okay. Beck, are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, let's go watch him. I didn't even tell him to get on the guitar, y'all. <laughs> Not him showing the guitar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, all right. She's like, not bad, not bad. I think I will go ahead and get them to watch a movie together. They can watch Diamonds Are For Sims. <laughs> we'll go ahead and turn this down to low. Keep Still keep the music going. And then we can... This should be an option to cuddle while watching the movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> They're so cute, y'all. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Crushing directly interacting with the crush gets back some pulse racing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, all right, good movie. Let's actually see if we can put this in this inventory. Back, you could probably go ahead and get another bottle <laughs> glass of wine. <laughs> and then I want to see if we can uh, give her a romantic gifts we can okay Beck is just enjoying her night <laughs> not you sitting all over there <laughs> all right let's do a little bit more flirtation let's blow him a kiss from across the table <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they just keep getting sentiments together. <laughs> so where are we at here? <laughs> Rather charming, extremely attract uh, attractive, deeply connected, smitten, fun to be around, growing closer from quality time. All good things, all good things. But I want to give her these flowers. And then I think you guys probably know what time it is. <laughs> so let's see if we can do that. They keep telling jokes to each other and being mischievous and everything. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> And then we are going to go ahead. Oh, she gave him a rose. Let's ask to be girlfriend. <laughs> oh, you gave him with, with a thoughtful message. What does it say? Every day we share it together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. Oh my gosh, Beck. <laughs> Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? Not the rebound kiss back. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get them to officially do their first kiss. <laughs> Because I know they've been like, he's pretty, 
he's kind of taller than her, but I know we've probably pretty much been kissing each other here or there all night, but <laughs> that is officially their first kiss, so I am super excited for them, girl. Okay. Paxton likes romance music now. I mean, it's been playing all night, not to mention... Um, he's been in a really good mood, so we are actually going to go ahead and get Beck a cuddle from behind. I think I have it so Beck doesn't like mischief, and that's probably why she reacts so weirdly <laughs> to things like that. Uh, or maybe that's like conversation topics or something like that. I'm just wondering why she acts so weird. <laughs> Whenever Paxson's being mischievous to her. <laughs> but I am so happy for them. <laughs> well, look at that propose. I think I have a mod where you actually have to pay for it. But <laughs> I'm so happy that they're finally together. We're going to do a couple more things here. I know it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. But let's get them to sit and chat. Oh, bills. <laughs> We're going to pretend like it's only like 11 o'clock. <laughs> sim time, sim logic. Make out for a while. It's probably going to be weird because he's taller. <laughs> Kiss in the forehead. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I should have made him a uh, normal size. <laughs> it's kind of cute, so it's okay. But I'm going to definitely leave this episode here, guys. I am so happy that they're finally together. I know this kissing animation looks really, really weird. But don't forget to give the video a like. Leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. I did mention in the previous episode that I am going to be uploading uh, Beck and Paxton to the gallery. As well as Beck's parents and their dog, Rosie. So I'm just going to probably take a minute to... Uh, look over everything with these sims like skills and traits and jobs and everything before I upload them Also change them into clothing that comes with the game um, I don't know if I'll go as far as providing the CC that I use for them I'm not super sure yet once I fi if I figure out how to do that. Maybe I will but um so look out for a community post where I will notify you guys when those sims are available to download on the gallery. Also look out for another community post where I'll be sharing a, pretty much like a little playlist from this series because I did use a lot of music from Epidemic Sounds. So if you happen to like any of those songs, uh, those titles of the songs and their artist names will be in that community post but I do hope you guys enjoyed this little 10 episode series a peek into Beck's life maybe later in the future I'll utilize these sims again you know maybe I'll use them to test out any future expansion packs that we might get for the game or whatever the case may be but thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Bye-bye.